Ozempic Face Aging Skincare Solutions. Hi friends, I'm Elizabeth, the Countess of Shopping. I have lost to date 64 pounds on my Manjaro weight loss journey, going to 100 pound weight loss, woo hoo And Ozempic Face, coined by the media, um, but it really could be Manjaro Face, Wegovy Face, some Agglutide Weight Loss Face, uh, Derozepatide Weight Loss Face, all of them. If you're losing a bulk of weight, your face change. And I have been, this is probably one of my most requested videos is to do skincare solutions for Ozempic phase aging. Um, if you saw on the cover of this video, it was in my 20s and now I'm in my 40s. What have I done to my face? I have not done injectables besides Botox. I actually need to get it done again because um, my wrinkles are coming back. But I do have a great solutions today in the video of high-end skincare solutions and drugstore product solutions. So we've got both high and low end, um, and you, you, hopefully this will be of service to you. I am, disclaimer, I am not a um, skin doctor or dermatologist, uh, none of that. Like this is just simply, I bought hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of dollars of skincare because I really like it and I like trying different products and I like giving you guys, you know, what's worked well for me and hopefully will work well for you. So take what you want and leave the rest. Let's dive in. The first thing, speaking of that Botox, my sister had recommended this to me. It's called Frownies. Love, highly recommend. Um, if you are not wanting to do Botox, but or you want extra zhuzhing in that department, the Frownies is awesome. So let's start off with cleanser. I've already cleansed my face. Obviously, I just got out of the shower because my hair's wet. We're going to go through through everything for my Ozempic face aging and all of the skincare products and skincare solutions that I love for a woman in her 40s. So I've got three different options. This is the first one, the high end. We're going to do high end and then we'll go through this video with like lower price grocery drugstore products. And um, is the Elemis. I got this because it had been recommended to me a ton. Price points vary anywhere. I mean, prices, of course, are subject to change, like subject to change, but it's around the $55-ish price point. With inflation, we know things are changing. So this one is in particular is the Dynamic Resurfacing Face Wash Anti-Aging. So for Ozempic Face, your face changes when you lose weight, right? It just naturally has, like it changes. And so I've been railing against this since, since day one. I'm on Manjaro 12.5 milligrams and, and 35 weeks into it. Very much akin to Ozempic, Wegovy, semi-glutide, and it is a terazepatide. So this is the higher end one. It is, how many ounces is this bad boy? 6.7 ounces. Um, this is six ounces, and then this is five ounces. So it's making sure we're comparing all apples to apples. Um, the ounces are about the same. 50 ish dollar price point. These are in the like 10 through under 20 buck price range is the Eucerin Hydrating um, Foaming Cleanser. I like this one. It does not have that resurfacing. This one has a little bit of grit into it, but for the difference in price point, I could take or leave it. I think psychologically I take it because, oh, it's it's the higher end price point. And maybe that's why there is Elemis bombs if you've seen those all everywhere. I have bought those over and over. I've bought at least three or four different Elemis bombs. I did not like those cleansing bombs. So I'm gonna go through and keep it honest because I bought all these with my own money. <laughs> and there's nothing stopping me from giving my honest opinion. I'm not sponsored by any of these. Um, these I legit bought with my own money. The Mario Badescu um, skincare gentle foaming cleanser. I like it. The packaging is not crazy. It's just a pop top on there. Whereas this has a pump. Um, and then this has a great pump on there too. I like all of them. You can take or leave all of them for my Ozempic face cleanser. Um, these are the ones that I like to pick out as well. Make sure you stay till the end. I'm going to show you my two favorite net creams that have been a game changer with the luxury price point and the drugstore price point. Let's dive in first to our loose skin body creams. I always like to preface, nothing's going to fix loose skin except a surgery. However, I have loose skin creams that have helped <laughs> and my dog agrees with me of how much they've helped. Um, and I will link those all down below. They help me with self-confidence and I do notice a difference. One is the Baja de Flor um, Sol de Janeiro. Love it. I love the scent on it. It smells kind of like Kool-Aid. <laughs> then my absolute favorites, got a new Jenny on the block. 
We're going to talk about that in a minute. But my number one go-to is my Body Firm, my um, Crepe Erase. All of these will linked in the description link below. It makes such a difference. Now, I bought recently the citrus. It doesn't smell like citrus to me. I just, the regular one is actually less expensive. And, but this last, it, it's 10 ounces. It's huge. So when you look at the price point on it, you may be like, Elizabeth, that is a luxury product. Will it last for forever? <laughs> Even if you're like scooping in bats over your body for loose skin, highly, highly, highly recommend this one. Um, and then I got recently and was astounded JLo. This stuff is her um, body tightening stuff. It looks like this. It's like an iridescent shade. Shocker. How well it worked. So this, normally I refer those other two. This is breaking news here at the Countess of Shopping. I just bought and have been testing this one. And the three-part system, surprisingly, like, the scent I could take or leave, that is the only thing where I'm like, it's okay. It's okay. The scent's okay. But the actual effectiveness of what it does for loose skin, and again, nothing's going to, I know people are going to come for me in the comments. Don't come for me in the comments. I'm simply saying that this helps for my confidence, but also a slight difference with loose skin. What I do use is two types of body um, makeup. One is Westmore, um, and I'll link that down below. And the other is Dermablend. Dermablend is more expensive. This is less expensive. It works. I like Dermablend slightly better. But if you're just looking for something that's less expensive but still works, this is a great, I put on my legs, covers my varicose veins, covers, <laughs> doesn't call her cellulite, but it just kind of makes my skin tone look more even and that helps me have more confidence with my loose skin. For all of my eye creams that I've tested, my highest price one is the Vici. I love Vici. I'm currently using Vici. I love it. However, all of these other ones we're going to go through are still amazing eye creams and they're less expensive than the Vici. I'm just going to go ahead and put that on. I like this one because of the pump. I also obviously like the texture, consistency, and effectiveness. I do have dark circles. I've been up late as a mom. We're fostering a dog. You heard her parking throughout the video. We've got a 90 pound dog foster that we're fostering. And so I'm getting darker circles because I'm not sleeping as much. This has been massively helpful for my Manjaro weight loss and Ozempic face of like eliminating fine lines and wrinkles for my anti-aging skincare product. This is my go-to as of right now, but other ones that I still love and recommend that I think are amazing are the Rock Retinol Correction Eye Cream. This one is, I think, the least expensive out of the cluster that I'm gonna show you, and it's awesome. It has that retinol, like, it's really good, and it's a thicker consistency on there too, which is really, really helpful. Like, I just love it, I love it, but I do feel, I like the Vici better. But again, if you're going for price point of like a more of a luxury high-end versus a drugstore type one, that's a great one. Everyone has been talking about La Roche-Posay, which I do love, but this is the uh, Hydrophase anti-aging, uh, it's anti-fatigue um, eye cream. It's okay. It looks like this. It looks very much like the Vici, but I, 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 I don't like the end result. After I put it on, I noticed a bigger difference with Vici for my anti-aging versus the La Roche-Posay. So I have other La Roche-Posay's that I do love. Um, and you can get these at like CVS and other things and all of my um, links will be linked down below. Next up, we've got Snail Mucin. Snail Mucin has been the buzz in the skincare industry, particularly for skin brightening. This is the Snail Peptide Eye Cream on there. I wanted to try it to see what the hype was about. This is what it looks like. Here's what snail mucin looks like, which we're gonna talk about in a little bit. So you can see obviously like the snail mucin is clear. The eye cream is that thicker consistency on there. Um, I liked it. I just wasn't a crazy fan. Like I'm crazy about the snail mucin. I love snail mucin. This one, not as crazy about, it's okay. I wanna give it as an option though, if you like snail mucin as you want the accoutrement for that, we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. Um, Lily Anna Naturals, their eye cream is boost. This one is, you can get them in different sizes. It is beast, beast. When I don't have my Vici, this is my go-to. This is, I, I, I love it, I love it, I love it. I love the texture, um, I love that it's natural. Like I just, I love it. And then also I do love the actual product itself, I'm not a huge fan of the packaging, is the Grace and Stella. I usually talk about Grace and Stella. I love their stuff. But I don't like putting my finger in a pot uh, like this because I'm a germ phobe. 
Like I like a pump. I do. I, I like pumps and I cannot lie. I, I'm just not a huge fan of dipping my, but it works great. Next is our Ozempic face anti-aging or aging, helping to prevent that with weight loss. Uh, whether you're taking Wegovy, Manjaro, Terzepatide, Semiglutide is eye patches or face masks. I bought the very expensive Jennifer Lopez Beauty um, Timeless Glow Mask. I could take or leave it. I like it. I'm going to use the last mask in there. It's nice, but it is a take or leave for me. What I also really, there's, there's eye patches that I love. Now there's the Peter Thomas Roth. These are great. There's a ton of them. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. Ah, he has eye patches. I grabbed the wrong one. He has eye patches. Those are also great. They're higher price point though. Lower price point too that I want you to check out. Grace and Stella bodaciously amazing super super hydrating i should have put this on first um i'm doing it in the wrong order forgive me my friends forgive me i already put my eye cream on but i just want to put one on so you guys can see an example i mean they are delicious it's delicious so that's the grace and stella versus some of the other higher end brand or even if i compare it to the jennifer lopez for my ozempic face uh i, I this is my go-to and twice on Sundays. I mean, it really works well. There's another brand that's also akin to this too that I'll link in the description link below, but, oh, it's right where my camera, it's where my camera's resting, hold on. Mora, that is the other one. So on this side for anti-puffy, like if you get puffy, maybe you eat something that's salty or whatever the next day, uh, the Grace and Stella's on this side for my skincare products. Demora, I'm gonna put on this side so you guys can see. Um, and again, I should have done this before I put on my um, creams, but you can see, like I just, this one's bigger, a little bit. I mean, it's slightly like, right, it's nominal. So Demora on this side, both are very hydrating. This one has collagen in it. They both, I mean, they're both awesome. So, um, and they give really great under eye results, particularly for puffiness for me, because I have puffiness and like dark circles. These help tremendously. Again, way better value and I think way better execution than the JLo Beauty um, face mask is on there. Next on our skincare products, anti-aging with weight loss and what happens with your face when I've lost 64 pounds, what am I using? Is snail mucin has been all the rage. Now, you cannot use snail mucin with vitamin C. So we're gonna do one side with snail mucin, the other side vitamin C, just so you can have some some options for you. Um, with snail mucin, you have to keep your face wet. So I have three options that I'm gonna use. I love all of them. First and foremost, Pink Drink has been super popular um, for Sunday Riley. I've gotten several of their products. This one has the firming peptides in there, fermented honey, pink yeast, um, apricot. <sighs> It's awesome. It's my go-to, as you can see. It's like almost gone. Um, Mario Badescu. Um, I like their facial spray. This one, they have the rose water in there. It's great and it's way less expensive. And then I have also, it's in this, it's from the same manufacturer, Costa Rex, um, the clarifying treatment toner. That is another option that I could do and spritz first so your face is wet before you do the snail mucin. I'm literally just gonna do pink drink over here on this side of my face so it's wet. And then I'm gonna use my snail mucin on this side of my face because you cannot commingle um, vitamin C with snail mucin. Your face does need to be wet. It is snail mucin. People say, why is snail mucin good? Because it has brightening in there, anti-aging properties. You can see like it's goopy. Don't get that in your mouth. <laughs> I had that on one of the videos where I was like, it like went in my mouth. I was like, oh my goodness. It is the only company to my knowledge that is doing snail mucin. And I believe it's Korean skincare. Um, actually, I'm almost, I'm like 99% positive. Um, and so it's been really, really popular. It's the only brand to my knowledge that does it, which is why I don't have a higher or lower, like that's why I don't have other options in it. But I do notice a difference for my Ozempic face with using this. Now on the other side, I'm going to do a vitamin C uh, on there. Vitamin C because of the anti-aging properties, the brightening properties. I just love the way it feels. Three choices for you. One is Vichy. Here it comes again. I simply love the way it feels on my skin. It's the Vichy Lift Active um, Vitamin C. Again, I bought all of these. Uh, I take it back. Liliana did send me, I, let me be, I want to make sure I'm completely honest. They did send me the vitamin C serum to test and I love it. I love it. So that one was gifted to me to test, but about every, like, 
making sure we're keeping it honest here with everything because I know some scare skincare things I'm like they're completely sponsored or they've been gifted all these things and so there's that kind of taints the relationship of the review right the other one that I love and that I'm going to use today is going to be the Neutrogena um, rapid tone repair it's 20% vitamin c serum they're in these little like pods <laughs> and so you just unscrew the little pod and then it comes out and so that way the vitamin c because vitamin c when you open it i'm pretty sure it goes if i'm remembering correctly after 30 days or i forget how many weeks it is maybe it's six weeks um i, I should have double checked it it does go bad like <laughs> So I just squeezed all of that out. Um, so that's why I like the Neutrogena ones because I know that the vitamin C in it is fresh. Now it's Neutrogena, so it's obviously a drugstore brand. I like the way it feels. This is much thicker of a solution. I'm gonna do it on the other side of my neck. It's a much thicker solution than these two. This one is more liquidy. I can feel now, it's not burning, but I definitely feel there's activation, shall we say, going on with using this on this side of my face versus the snail mucin and i do tend to get red like my face just naturally gets red um this one definitely has a more of an intense feeling when i put it on which is one of the reasons why i actually like it okay i'm kicking myself because i have all of the tatcha which have been huge they're quite pricey their eye serum stick is one of my favorites i did not bring it over forgive me <laughs> That would go in my eye section. And we're gonna talk about their moisturizer here in a minute. But I love, it's like a, it kind of reminds me of like chapstick, but for your eyes. And it comes in a nice stick. It is very pricey though, but I love it. That is another one that I do love for skincare. So for Ozempic face, obviously protecting it is with sunscreen. And so I've got several different options for you that I'm loving right now that I bought. One is I do have moisturizing drops. It's the pair, the Isle of Paradise, and then I have a higher end one. I didn't bring it over. I like the higher end one for, it's self tanner, but in drop format. So you just mix, I'm not gonna do it right now. You just mix it into your hand with your moisturizer. This is burning over on the side with the vitamin C. I can feel it, I'm like, oh, that's tingling. Um, which is also why I don't wanna put it on, right? Like it just doesn't, I don't wanna put that on right now. Um, so you mix those tanning drops in there and then that will make your face obviously more with self tanner. I love Hatcha's moisturizer. I don't have their sunscreen. If they do have a sunscreen version, I don't have that. So, but I do have um, the Vici um, UV Defense Moisturizer Sunscreen. Love it. I love it. I love it. And then I also have their La Roche-Posay um, sunscreen. It's the daily lotion sunscreen as well. And the moisturizer. I'm gonna use my VG just because I, I enjoy it. And I love, you guys know, I love me a pump. I love a pump. And so I do have, and have tried their Class RX, the same thing in for snail mucin. I have tried their um, sunscreen. I've tried their sunscreen and it's good. It does have a scent to it. The VG has a scent as well. It's not overwhelming though. Like if you're not a scent person, don't worry. But there is a slight like, there's a slight, something something in there with it as well okay let's talk night creams as well i've got a ton of night creams and i also have extra moisturizer if you are have dry skin okay liliana retinol cream love 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 that i love that journey for you um the it bye bye dark spots um it has in there the concentrated derma serum i can never pronounce that name properly the niacinamide um i like it quite a bit actually like that Here's the one where it's the high and low end option. Uh, lower priced, but incredibly effective. I haven't opened up this fresh one. It is the uh, glycolic acid resurfacing pads from Curex Labs. Love, love these. They kind of remind me of like the oxy pads of when, like back in like the 90s for zits, but these are for anti-aging. I absolutely love. You need to make sure if you are using these, you need to be wearing sunscreen and preferably like a ball cap or something to protect your face from frying it because this will happen if you don't do that age bots. <laughs> um, but then here is the higher end price one that I also love is the Neogen, um, their face pads, they're the green tea face pads. And literally you take your finger in like this, it has like one side that's smooth and the other side that's kind of like, um, like those zip pad things. 
and then you can resurface. I did this last night. I love it. I love the way that it feels. I love the pads. They're super, super um, liquidy. It smells, um, it's green tea. It's the gauze peeling bio peel on there. Um, promotes visibly clear skin. I just like it. It's the Neogen Labs. I, li I like it. I like it a lot. And I like the packaging on it. But again, more expensive, um, less expensive, same output on there, depending on which, you know, some people just prefer having like name brand stuff, whatever makes the best sense for you. I did forget to say that La Roche-Posay also does have a, um, like a hyaluronic acid serum or like a serum at nighttime to help with anti-aging that you use at night. Um, so this is an option too. I'm gonna put it down below. This is a drugstore option. It works well, it's not my go-to. It's not my favorite. I just found that I had better results with the other options, but it is totally an option. Let's talk moisturizer, like extra added moisture. Clearly I have a ton of these that I've been testing. Um, okay, we're gonna go through this one. Where do we start? Okay, Neutrogena is obviously the lower priced one. I have found it's very similar to what these feel like. Slight difference, but if you are pinching your pennies, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. The water gel, it's awesome. Like, I like it. I like it in the wintertime. My face is like, yes, please, I'll have more. Now, I have also the Peter Thomas Water Drench. Um, it's the Hyaluronic Cloud Moisturizer. 30% Hyaluronic Acid Complexity. Like, that, it has Hyaluronic Acid, right? So, it's going to be like, re I put a lot on there. It's going to be resurfacing your skin um, in addition to, like, that hydrating moisturizer on there. So... Um, but more expensive, more expensive. We have Belief True Cream. It is an aqua bomb. Everyone loves this. And I do love it too. I do love it too. I do love me a good aqua bomb. However, it feels very similar to the Neutrogena. <laughs> I'm like, uh, for the price variation, I, it's the same. I do like the little top hat, uh, top hat container. This is the other big one. It's the Lange Water Bank, which is the same company. Lange is the same company as Amore Pacific, which is very, very high end. Like I've had their skincare. It's like $300 a bottle. Um, she's not there yet. <laughs> and I've had Amore Pacific and I've tested their products too. Just to me, I couldn't justify. I'm like, I will foster another dog <laughs> or get more Botox. No, I'm just kidding, but kind of not. Um, this one is the blue um, hyaluronic cream moisturizer. Again, very much akin to the Peter Thomas, both very similar to me. I'm not going to put it on because I already have enough. I already have enough on my face. And then the higher end one, it's the Sunday Riley, um, moisturizing cream on there. That is not the Hydro Bomb. It comes with this little scooper on there. I'm like, how cute is a little scooper, a little scoopy doop. It's got the little scoopy doop on there. So you don't have to put your fingers in, which is a germ phobe. I appreciate. Um, I like it, but again, it's a great texture and a great consistency. And it's slightly, to be fair, to give apples to apples, those are like hydro, um, they're the hydro boost of the water gels, moisturizers, and this is different. It's a different, it's a moisturizing cream, but I've lumped it in the same category. But even if I didn't have, leave, it, it's good. I just, it's good, but I just, I'm not crazy like, woo. Okay, if you guys are liking this, by the way, tell me down below if you want me to do a cosmetics one. <laughs> I wanted to do this for the Ozempic face, but let me know. I'm open to like, this is my experience, strength and hope. Feel free to take it or leave it. Um, I don't know if anyone's gonna watch this video, but it's what's working well for me for my Ozempic face. Um, primers, um, we're gonna talk about neck cream here next though. I have two different primers, Gucci. It's the Gucci primer, it's a silk priming serum. And then the Elizabeth Mott face primer that also has blurring um, broad spectrum. SPF 30, which means because it has sunscreen in there, eventually it's going to, when you open it, like there's a shelf life for when you open SPF, right? So just keeping that in mind. I love Gucci. I love Gucci. I can't justify buying this. It does nothing for my skin. This is actually the Elizabeth Mott primer actually does better for my skin. Um, and I like that it has the SPF, although I will continue to love and use my gooch. I love gooch. I love you gooch. But I feel like I've, I've committed a betrayal here with my gooch. I really do. I mean, I love it, but it's again, 
Elizabeth Mott primer. It's, it's, a, it's a fave for me. It's a fave. Okay. Neck creams. I also had in here earlier that I was sharing and I can do a whole cosmetics video. Just let me know. I've got my foundations here and also concealers, but I can do a whole cosmetics one. And then we're going to talk about neck cream. Uh, the Trish McAvoy, um, concealer or it's the, what is it called? Instant eye lift. Love recommend. Um, I also love recommend derma blend. Oh my gosh, it is more expensive, but it's awesome for dark circles under the eyes. I also love Derma Blend Foundation. I love It Cosmetics Foundation. Um, and I also ironically like Mary Kay Foundation too. I really enjoy that quite a bit. If you want a Mary Kay, my Mary Kay lady, I can totally just tell me in the comments. Um, she's awesome. She's awesome. So, um, but I know how some people feel about LMLMs, but I love my Mary Kay lady and she's been my Mary Kay lady for like a decade. <laughs> um, Bronzer, Chanel, Chanel, Elizabeth Mott. I really like Elizabeth Mott's bronzer too. So um, the Chanel one's great. Like if I want to feel Zsa, Zsa and like, ooh, it's great. But Elizabeth Mott's bronzer is beast in my eyes. Thing with lip masks, we've got the Lange lip mask versus the Elizabeth Mott lip mask. Elizabeth Mott's the exact same thing, half the price. I'll put both down below. This just has different flavors from Lange. They do also have squeezy tubes so you don't have to touch your lips with the pot, which you know for me as a germ phobe, I'm like, your hands clean. Okay, let's talk neck creams. Neck cream! Coveted neck cream. Okay. High-end neck cream, less expensive neck cream. Which one is better for ozempic face, weight loss, we go V, um, semi-glutide, terazepatide. Here's the higher-end one. It's the same company as um, my loose skin body cream. It is great. It is high end. It feels high end. The packaging is really nice. And I like that I don't have to put my finger in a pot. However, QRX kicks its booty left, right, and sideways with the neck firming cream. You do have to put your finger in the pot though, which I don't like. <laughs> However, in terms of price point and deliverability, this is probably one of the biggest differentiators is QRX. Now I have it in the lemon verbena, so it smells like lemons. You can get it unscented. My sister got it unscented. It is awesome, but the packaging is substantially different, which is also why the price point is different with it too. So something to think about as well, like do you care about packaging or do you just want results? Or um, for me, I'm like, just tell me what's, what's the results? <laughs> what's the results? Um, and then my deodorant, I would not be a good friend if I didn't tell you, I'm obsessed with Sol de Janeiro. Their aluminum-free deodorant um, is the same scent as the Baja Fleur. And then they do also have their Sol de Janeiro, um, like there's Chorizo, and then they have other scents with it too. I love it, love it. And it is um, environmentally friendly because it's a refill. You can just pop this out and then refill it. So you're not continuously like throwing away plastic, which I appreciate as well. So. My sweet friends, if you made it this far in the video, put down below an emoji of a lipstick and I'll know that you've made it this far in the video. Um, and if you do want to see that cosmetics video, let me know down below. I hope, hopefully this has been a maximum service to somebody. Hopefully somebody's gotten some value out of my ozempic face. It's helped me. You can see how, my, how much my face has changed on my weight loss journey and it's still got some spring to it. Like Besides the Botox part, like I don't have fillers in my face. I don't like it's been using skin cream. I do also use red light therapy, which I will link down in the description link below. Um, but I don't do that as often as I used to for my face. I have one in my home. Um, I have a lower end and a higher end red light therapy. If you want more information on that, let me know that too. There's blue light therapy if you get acne. Um, that's another option too, which I'll link down below as well. So, uh, yourself, be kind to others. I'm Countess of Shopping. Count my blessings because life is delicious. See you next time, friends.